Hello, it's day three. It's about six o'clock, I think. I've been working from home today on the laptop. Finally got out for my walk. And it's still gorgeous weather. Amazing blue skies and you can see the sun still lighting the back of the, the top of the hills behind me there as well. Um, yes, so I was thinking what what can we do, what can I do today that's um, going to be nice for people that maybe are working from home or they just get a chance for a quick walk or break in the garden. Uh, so I've brought my, pick it up, there we go, brought my teapot out, filled it with boiling water already um, and if you are going on a walk, you could take a thermos flask instead. Um, a teapot might be a bit tricky. But yeah, if you're in the garden like me, then you could take your teapot out and then find something wild to add to your tea. So I'm going to put in my tea. I can show you down here some of these guys, which you may recognise. Um, this is the stinging nettle and you can use gloves to pick these um, and I'll put some links below about identifying nettles. A lot of people know stinging nettle um, but it's still good to read up on your ID because there's things like the dead nettle that sort of look similar although they're in a different family. Um, but yeah, always good to read up on it and uh, let's do, I'm going to try and grasp this nettle without getting stung so see how it goes. Ah, oh, that worked. Doesn't always work, but it worked this time. Look at that, beautiful. So yeah, these toothed, heart-shaped leaves. You can see the hairs that will sting and put uric acid into your bloodstream, which I've heard is actually quite good for alleviating arthritis. If anyone's tried that, it'd be really good to hear from you. People have mentioned it on foraging courses before that it is effective. Which is great. I try not to sting my face. So yes, didn't sting me. Thank you, nettle. Um, so I'm going to just put this into. Um, and this, this is, by the way, um, a part of the garden where it's far away from where any dogs are going to be. Um, so I, if I had any doubt, I'd wash this nettle before I put it in my tea. <laughs> So I'm just going to drop that into my teapot. Wow, I can smell that already. It's a gorgeous smell. They're full of protein and minerals like iron and calcium, um, vitamin C, which is water soluble, so you get that in your tea if you, if you keep the water like this. Uh, and they, it's a gorgeous smell. It's a bit like, um, yeah, people use nettles as a spinach substitute a lot. And I, I can smell, but it's a very distinct smell all of its own. I think it's kind of got a zinginess to it, um, a wildness to it that's very different from spinach. So that is now in the hot water. I'm going to add another nettle head. Um, and it's just the tops of the plant that you want to be harvesting. I'm just going to get another one. Try not to get stung, but yeah, you can wear gloves if that's easier for you and there you go there's another one so I'm going to put that in as well and putting them in water takes away the sting so just gently frying or cooking nettles or submerging them in boiling water for a minute or two removes the stings and then they're safe to eat um, put the lid on my teapot I'm just going to let that stew for a minute and then I've got my me, me mug an outdoor cup of tea. Ah, nice to have a butterfly mug. Butterflies like nettles. I think it's the peacock butterfly lays its eggs on the underside of nettles and, and then the caterpillars uh, eat through the leaves when they hatch. So that's nice to have that with me as well. Oh, five minutes. I was thinking it'd be a really short one today. Um, but yeah, I guess once you start talking about these things, you, you remember other facts and information to share and yeah I'd love to hear from anybody about nettles and um, how they're using them 
and if anyone tries out this idea when they're working from home maybe you could use other herbs and things that are in your garden as well um, to make your wild cup of tea all right that's it for today then see you all tomorrow take care bye